Can we do this? Okay. <laughs> hey guys. Um. Gloss. Yeah. Might be, might seem weird. This is actually one of my favorite glosses. It's from Essence of Beauty. Um. It's actually from the Twilight Breaking Dawn collection, and this color is called Renesme Red, and it was actually one of my favorite lip glosses ever. It's actually nice because it can, it's like pretty, pretty sheer with like one layer, two layers is what I went for, and now I got some pretty full coverage. Um, my white arms are really throwing this off, I just kind of want to like throw a thing on, plus I'm cold. Shut up! I like how this looks great. This looks eh. I wanted to talk about something. Um, this is my vlog channel. Like, I was going to put this on my, like, other channel and put it, like, vlog style. Because, yeah, I do vlogs on my not vlog channel. <laughs> Ow, my arm hurts. Everything hurts. Um, did you want to say something? When were you born? When were you born? You were like May twenties, maybe, maybe. You're just a little jerk, aren't you? <gasps> he let me hug him and he didn't do anything. That was actually pretty nice of you, Zoro. That was that was actually pretty nice of him. Yeah, that was nice of you. It's like psha, I know. Okay. Anyway, not the point. Okay, the point of the video, well, of me like sitting down to talk about this, I wanted to talk about astrology, and it's so funny because I took some notes on my phone, but I can't check those notes while I'm recording. So it's so funny because you can't tell, but it's like I'm scratching him. He was liking it, but then I lifted him. He's gonna jump off. Cause I'm rough housing. It's like rough love. Anyway, my point, can I get to it? Um, I wanted to talk about astrology and how I was looking at like compatibility between signs and a lot of it makes sense in a way. So um, if I mix up these signs, I'll like, I'll type it out, but I'm severely trying not to. So for me and my first boyfriend, he was a Sagittarius and just, basically not gonna I'm just gonna try to not name them but there are patterns in my dating so we'll see if I can remember them at least um so my first boyfriend was a Sagittarius uh the consensus was that we're not very compatible and we actually were maybe it's because we were so young that we like hadn't grown into our signs yet uh, yeah, so that was my first boyfriend. I was reading a lot into these, like, not reading a lot into it, but, like, researching them on, like, a lot of different websites, but then I got the gist, and they all say the same thing, so I stopped looking. Um, I also looked up, well, I think I looked up generally me and all my exes, yeah, and some pretty serious crushes I had. Some people, I couldn't find the birthdays because I guess if you're not friends on Facebook, you can't even see the birthdays now, so. Yeah, some I couldn't check birthdays, so I just left them off. But yeah, and uh, then for Pisces, that's Nano, Nikolai, and Caleb. And these three guys seem to like have the same personality. And when I was dating Nano, which was not that long at all, like nothing happened it wasn't that long at all uh he was a very charismatic guy and we got along great i think the general consensus is that uh pisces and virgo are compatible yeah so pisces are known as the dreamer virgo are known as the healer it's basically a match made in heaven um yeah i also looked up I sincerely hope they're not watching. I looked up Nikolai and his girlfriend. They don't get along. Like, they're signs. It's a relationship of compromise and Pisces give up. Like, tend to give up more in a relationship. Etc, etc. 
I just really thought it was interesting because with the exception of one, Marcus, all of these guys have stayed true to their signs. So let me talk about like brush upon Marcus real quick as we hit that topic of conversation. So are Virgo men and Virgo women compatible? Short answer, yes. Um, they are both hardworking. They are both extremely overcritical of themselves. They both are very analytical and intelligent. The funny thing is, Marcus is none of these things. He is like the anti-Virgo and I looked up, I was like, uh, why can't, like, why don't, doesn't someone seem like their sign? And it could be because the date is close to another sign. Not true. That's actually more my case. Um, it's, it all depends on like, I don't want to, I don't want to say astrology is everything, but I do think in a lot of cases it is very indicative and like able to foreshadow how something will go. So I think there's a reason why everyone's like, what's your sign? Um, because I do think it is a good indication of how a relationship can go and how your day can go. How horoscopes, like daily horoscopes, might not like be a thing because who can predict that really? Um, like with the whole like the moon is in this house, the sun is in this house, all that. That's like an aura thing. That's where it gets sketchy. As far as mate and mate compatibility, like people have studied this for like decades, like century, or like people study it for decades. It's been studied for hundreds of years. That part I believe in. The whole horoscope daily thing. I like to think it's a good thing, but I think it's just like to fluff people up, you know. And majority. Although I do like reading my horoscope in magazines. Okay. Basically my point with Marcus is uh, it could also be like the, the they map the stars and the suns and everything like on a chart when you're born and they could be conflicting and like that could also be why you don't act like your sign so I thought that was very very funny so yes um let me google this real quick who are Virgos most compatible with because I think I remember but I don't want to mess up so the most compatible signs are Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, and Capricorn the least compatible are Gemini and Sagittarius um, there was one guy who's a Gemini, we have not dated, we have not, like, done anything, we haven't gone out, um, yeah, so I just basically stopped researching that once it was like, your worst type is a gen Gemini, and then the Sagittarius, well, that relationship with Kevin was, like, beaten to absolute death with the stick and then shot again twice in the back, so, yeah, I, I don't know, just don't know. Um, um, most compatible, I think I read it, yeah, Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, and Capricorn, so, Luis is a Cancer, um, I read, like, so much good stuff about Luis and I, I'm like, yes, and it's like, Cancer can be over-emotional, and Virgo can be, like, over-critical of themselves, that's the bad thing, not the good thing, because everything else is good, um, and I think we've already seen that in each other, so... And then, ow, I also saw something interesting. It's like, if it's a slow courtship between Virgo and Cancer, it is like all that much stronger and lasts that much longer. And I was like, whoops, but whatever. Um, some, like, there was someone that was a like Scorpio. I think I'm going to check because I can't quite remember. Okay, so the Scorpio I had in mind was my friend Luke. We kind of like online dated for a little bit. I was very young. Um, yeah, so we are also highly compatible, and I do think we are. We were really, really great. But, you know, it wasn't real. I mean, he did actually move out here, like, in California, like, in, like, in, like an hour or two drive away from me to be with his girlfriend. And do I, do I know if they're together? No. Oh, funny thing, Luis and his ex aren't compatible either. I don't know. 
should I not be mentioning everyone by name and that they aren't compatible with their exes or current relationships? Probably not. <laughs> but I did it anyway. Um, yeah. So, I was gonna send these, like, screenshots to Louise, but I think I can tell them in person. I'll be like, hey. Astrology says we should be together. I should be- I say we should be together. Why not? I just think it's really interesting. And then there was one that was my crush, um, from high school. And I just- I think I- I think he's an Aries. I didn't even get as far to looking that up. Our Virgo and Aries compatible. Both Arians and Virgos are honest. There is an element of magnetism in this love match, but the longevity of the relationship is not. An Arian cannot digest criticism. You know, it's so funny because none of Hayden's. Why do I keep saying their names? I'm like, I'm gonna be anonymous. But no, none of his relationships last long. None of them. I mean, they last like a little bit, you know, but. Like, I think they're a good, like, four months each or something. He he can go a long, a long time. He can have a long relationship. He just doesn't. I think he I think he did. Like, maybe the longest was just under a year. Oh, I did not like that girl. It's so funny when you have a crush. And it's, like, just a timeless crush. You're like, oh, I'll always love that person. And they have, like, multiple girlfriends or like multiple boyfriends and you're just like oh I hated that person oh oh she was cute but like oh I hate them well generally you hate them all but there's like some of them where you either know them or you particularly like don't like them and you're like oh I hated that one yeah that was her but it, ten it tends to be like the ones that last longer you're like, oh. they're still there but the funny thing is, is like even if I could date Hayden I wouldn't because I wouldn't want to be like his next just four month relationship or whatever. I don't know. I thought I'd throw all that out there. Tea is spilled. Oh, my, everything hurts. Oh. But yes. It just turned August 3rd. Jane's Louise comes home tomorrow. Tomorrow. About 48 hours. Less than 48 hours. I put in my countdown app a day later. So when it told me today, three days left, and I was like, wait, it's two days. And then I realized I put the next day because he might not be able to see me the day he gets back because he might be jet lagged. I don't know. He just pretty much should because I have that day off and, it, and then I work like stupid hours the next three days so yeah okay i just wanted to share that with you guys um so if you think about like your current girlfriend or your current boyfriend or your ex boy or your like last ex-boyfriend last ex-girlfriend you want to know like why you weren't like why you broke up how you're doing together like if you're like really bad together like why are you still together check astrology honestly it could it could lead to some answers but as much as i love a horoscope i think just daily can't be like it's kind of dumb i mean they could say like oh your sun is out like you could be in a good mood but i don't know thinking i think like predicting things like money and if they can predict your relationship I don't know there's a difference between like human concrete people human concrete examples than just saying you'll have a great day today your sun is in your moon is in your orbit I don't know okay I should go to bed super long vlog you're welcome bye